Squadron, welcome back to Dark Souls 3 yet again. Today we're going to be headed past the room of P. Sully. Last episode was by far my favorite in the series. As soon as we entered Irithyll, I was blown away. One of the coolest things I've ever seen in gaming history. P. Sully was an amazing boss. After rewatching and dissecting the footage, I realized a lot of the things that I did wrong. I was rolling backwards quite a lot. This guy just had me stressing. Thank you so much for being here. And without further ado, let's go. So first things first, guys, we got to talk to my lady and level up, of course. Let's level up strength. Oh, I can't even level up right now. 17,000. Okay. Got two of these. And we got two of these. You love to see it. Shut up. I'm going to do strength, guys, because I do want to try out the great sword uh, in the very near future. Maybe we're actually able to use it right now. Let's go check. We're also going to be talking to uh, Grey Rat, Patches, and uh, the lady down there. Um right before we head out into the world hopefully we didn't fuck up any quest lines in the previous episode but you never know with my playthrough so oh my god we can use it guys holy cannolis all right well it's happening oh wait what what did i say unable to use this, uh with with present attributes unless wield it with both hands all right yeah we can wield it in both hands there's no problem we need 28 strength okay we're at 23 Chase Luis, this thing is fucking awesome i don't quite look like guts uh but this kind of works man Alright, if we get rid of the shield and this, eh, it's a little bit better, I would say. <laughs> sick, dude. So sick. Alright, let's go, uh, who should we talk to first? Let's go talk to this lady, then Grey Rat, and then Patches. That silly old bastard. So I met with my future wife in the last episode in the chapel, and then she went away, so maybe she'll have someone to say. Speak thy desire, honorable lord of hollows. Yes, I am the lord of hollows. Let's go. The time is ripe to greet her. Yes. All right. The girl awaits thee in the hidden dark moon chamber of Anor Londo. I was correct. So thou mayst a true monarch. Become. I mean, it was pretty obvious that it was Anor Londo, but that is proof. And also, when I was talking about the diagonal pillars, of course, I'm no structural engineer, so I don't, I don't know these terms, but a lot of you guys do. So I appreciate it. Something about a butt. Uh, hold up a second. Let me let me get the actual term. I can't just leave it there. They're called flying buttresses or butt resses. Butt resses. Those are very much Anorlando like, and I believe that we are either in Anorlando or we're in the village right below it. I guess we're gonna find out. We're gonna go talk to my future wife, baby. We actually didn't mess up that quest line, guys, yet, of course. Grey Rat. Oh, hello. Fine work, I say. What did I do? Discovering oh. everything in the boreal valley. Tales are true. It is home to all the moon worshipping nobles and should be packed with treasure. Yes. What do you think? Shall I go and see what I can find? Yes. Yes. Send him to pillage, mm, baby. A fine choice. <laughs> I am Grey Rat the Thief. What I bring back will be worthy of that name. Let's go. <laughs> cool. Alrighty. I noticed that the music is super fucking loud, and it's because uh, when we fought P. Sully, I cranked it and I lowered all the sound effects. I'm gonna, I'm gonna fix that in a second. <laughs> all right, cool beans. Uh, do you have anything to sell? Ooh, this is kind of cool. Do I have this? I do not have that. Kind of like this Steve mask. It's not even expensive. You love to see it. Thank you, pal. Let me get some fireballs too. Can never have enough fireballs. Shit, I just bought like 66 fire bombs. <laughs> you better come back, you piece of shit. I love you. All right, uh, let me fix this music. Shit, it's so loud. Can't even hear myself talking. All right, there we go. My dude, how you doing? Ah, well met. Yes. I'm just going to bring all of my Estes to this because uh, we're not really using the weapon arts that much. So, or magic or anything like that. So, Pretty be careful. Yes, sir. All right, let's head out into the world, guys. It's time. Oh, wait, no. We gotta talk to Patches. Sup, idiot? How you doing? Oh, hello again. Welcome to Patches' Boutique of Wonders. A wall. You guys told me I should check out a ring that he sells. Apparently, it's, like, really good. Don't see any rings, though, I gotta say. I could be blind, though. Speaking of being blind, uh, P. Sullivan's sword was purple, not blue. Uh, so, again, goes to show that I might be colorblind. And this game is, is showing me that. 
or my colors are fucked up uh, when I play these, and then the recording is... I have no idea, but Beast of the Story was purple or violet, not blue. I was saying blue, though. It's a long day. <laughs> ah, I see you, mate. Right. Oh, let's go. You guys are friends. Never mind. You did me a good turn back in Lothric Dungeon. Doubtless I should do something about that little dead. Well, maybe not. Well, I can hardly believe he's still standing. <laughs> no way. You know the rat, eh? Okay, well, you better not fucking kill him, Patches. Or I will kill you, sir. Alrighty, guys, it's time to head out into the world. Let's go back to P. Sullivan's old home. I also saw that a lot of you guys agreed that uh, the music did sound a little bit like the Gotska Noble. But also, something I didn't notice is that it's basically the same boss room. Like, this this is kind of basically the same boss room as the uh, Gotskin Noble. And uh, before we head on, I also forgot to read a certain ring that we got uh, right before this boss. It was the Ring of the Sun's Firstborn. Ring of the Sun's Firstborn, who inherited the light of Gwyn the First Lord. Greatly boost miracles. The Sun's Firstborn was once a god of war, until he was stripped of his stature as punishment for his foolishness. No wonder his very name has slipped from the annals of history. Annals? He was once a god of war. Which is interesting, because the soul of P. Sully here says that he imprisoned a god of the old royalty in the abandoned cathedral to be fed to the devourer. So I wonder if he imprisoned the god of war to be fed to the devourer. All right. Big brain. This looks pretty gnarly already. Oh. Oh, crystal boils. Come here, bitch. Nice. First swing with the sword. Incredible. Another one. Nice. Holy view. Oh. Holy shit. Oh, this is so cool, dude. Who is this? Interesting. Can we go through this uh, little crack here? Oh my god. Okay, let's not do that. Yeah, these are the buttresses thing. But buttresses. This is so inner Londo, dude. I guess they just changed his name, or we're right below it. Deus 1 was really just a giant bridge, giant staircases, the spiral thing, which is really cool, and then the giant cathedral where we fought uh, Schmoog and Ornstein, so. Oh my god, that's it. <laughs> that's it, dude. <laughs> no fucking way, man. Aw, oh, dude, that's it. That's it, literally. That's that's the staircase. Damn! Oh my god, we're going straight into... This game is awesome, dude. And it's even... Oh my god, these are all giants? And it's even more awesome that we, uh, that we, that we did these games in a row, man. I'm so happy we did this. It's all, like, so fresh in my head. This is so beautiful, man. Holy... This is so beautiful. I love that we get to see uh, Anor Londo from like a different perspective. You guys gonna come alive? No, eh? You're all chilling. Actually, I hear some breathing. One of you guys is definitely gonna get up. Oh, is anybody home? Oh, we got more ghost boys. See ya, bitch. Nice. Big fan of the sword so far, guys. Oh my god. This is like the first time in these games that I've actually used this one, so... It was about time, eh? Night, night. Okay. Night, night. Item, 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 item. Dark stone plate ring. Bro, I'm hearing some massive footsteps. And voices and shit. Stone plates are symbols of true knights, and dark purple stone plates are granted to undead knights. Increases dark damage absorption. Alright. Yeah. These voices are putting me on edge, man. But nothing will beat those goddamn spiders, I'll tell you that. Oh, snap. Ah, oh, wizards. Hell yeah. All right, those are definitely the ones saying all that weird shit. I'm gonna check the rest of this, and then we'll head back up. 
You're really telling me that none of these guys are going to get up? I find that hard to believe. Boyos. Ah. Ah. Okay. I thought... Oh, shit. Who was that? Okay. <laughs> probably shouldn't stand still. Yo. Okay. We should probably go get rid of the wizards before we even attempt to fight this guy. What the fuck? This guy's like a straight up human. Not even like a ghost or anything. Hello. Oh, there's two of them too. Fantastic. Love to see it. I should have killed the wizards first. <sighs> These look like uh, fucking King of the North. These look like Jon Snow's people. The North men. Bro, what are you hitting me with? <laughs> those look like those things that ASMR people use. You know the water, uh, the water thingies. <laughs> Don't ask me how I know that. <laughs> Perfect timing. Let's do it again. That bitch. Okay, yeah, this is my new favorite sword, guys. And <laughs> no one's got anything against me. That guy was so scared, he gave his back towards me. Come on. Dun, 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 jump attack. Oh, wait, I can't do that in this game. I forgot. <laughs> I put on Elden Ring last night uh, just to test out some new audio settings for my microphone. And uh, I ended up playing for like an hour and a half. <laughs> I forgot how awesome the game was. Um, and yeah, I miss jump attacks. Jump attacks are fun. Nice. Drang twin spears. That sounds like a good time. I'm going to finish this area here. And then we'll go... Um, we'll go kill those wizards. You're a wizard, Harry. Okay, they're going to keep on shooting at me. No problem. I can take cover behind the giants. Oh shit, no I can't. Damn. I knew they were gonna get up. I knew they were gonna get up. It's too obvious, too obvious. What's up, boyo? Fuck, he's gonna be hard to kill, isn't he? I'm gonna kill the wizards first and then I'm gonna attempt to kill the giant. I don't think we've killed the giant yet, uh, but I could be wrong. No, we haven't. There was the ones in the Cathedral of the Deep, but we didn't kill those. We tried, <laughs> for sure, but uh, we did not succeed. I want to get rid of these guys. Wizards are, are usually pretty weak. Sup, idiots. Ugly ass shit. Oh, no. Oh, no. Ooh-wee. Nice. So these are peace all these guys, eh? Apparently he's just like an evil pope. Uh, this makes sense. This makes sense. You guys told me that the lore for uh, Peace Sully goes extremely hard. And uh, I cannot wait for lore and chill, man. Come here, you cowards. You cannot hide from me. Oh, hello. Did I miss someone back here? Oh, I did. <laughs> These guys are so slow. They look so intimidating, but are literally... Like, they just act brain dead. Ouch. Talking all this shit's gonna get me killed. Bitch. Oh, fuck. No! Sloppy Joe? <laughs> no way. The Sloppy Joe? Hell yeah. Been waiting to meet him. Oh, crap. Okay, at least let me kill these wizards, man. Where's this invader coming from? God damn it. Okay. I'm gonna try and get these guys. Yeah. Oh, big boy. How you doing? <laughs> One more time, baby. Boom. Yo. Now I see why uh, why this sword is so famous. Jesus Christ, this is incredible. All right. All right. Let's do this shit. Look. Yeah. Bye-bye. <laughs> that was too obvious. Oh, okay. Two heavies going at it. Let's go. Aldrich Faithful Sluppy Joe. Trash. Watch me win, guys. Watch me win. Trash. Oh, okay. We almost knocked each other out. Okay. Yo. Yeah. Let's go. Let me heal. Uh. Alright, 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 alright. I'm actually gonna start trying now. Alright. Sloppy Joe, you're dead, coward. What the fuck? Fuck. 
I'm not used to the sword, guys. Oh, you're so dead, pal. Oh, you hate to see it. Oh, I should have gone for it. Boom! Uh, you can't get away from me. I'm a nightmare. Trash. Trash. Okay, I'm just talking about myself at this point. Not. <laughs> you try to parry me. Oh, uh, you're funny, pal. Not. Dead. One more. Dead. Fuck. Don't heal. Don't be a coward. Fuck. He's gonna heal now. Not. Bye bye. Oh no! Okay. The weak as shit. Oh fuck. Okay. He had an extra one there. Oh, you got too greedy, pal. Now you're gonna die. Get over here. Get over here, sloppy Joe. Bastard. I am so focused right now, man. I kick you. <laughs> that didn't go as planned. Let's go. You gonna try me again with that? Come on now. Learn your lesson, pal. Okay, you don't learn. Oh no! Fuck! He got me with that again. <laughs> Fucked. What is he doing? Oh, that was sick, dude. I respect the sloppy. I respect it. Not. Fuck, man. Stop kicking him. Ugh. Kicking players, too, man. It's embarrassing. Stop running away, you coward. Oh, my God. This fucking guy. How are you going to invade me after I die, like lost so much health, use all my flasks, and then ugh, abuse your flasks? All right, 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 all right. Not. Oh my god, he was about to bait me again into that. You know what? You're getting the throwing knife, pal. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> I can do that too, bitch. Oh no, I'm so dead. I hate this guy. It's my worst enemy. I'm never going to Sloppy Joe's again, even though we don't have that in Canada. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you're. S I know your moves now. You're too predictable, pal. Way too predictable. Throw, throw it again. Throw it again. I dare you. Bitch. Oh, you bitch! Oh my god, how many flasks does he have? I hate you. Oh my god, I hate you so much. This is so annoying. You just fucking kill me already. Oh. <laughs> you know what? I'm okay with that. Technically, Sloppy Joe didn't kill me. The archer did, so... Can you sloppy You're watching this? I'm gonna find you sloppy. All right, well, that was fun. Uh, yeah. All right, only reason why I'm gonna go back the way of the wizards is to get this item. Yes. Actually, I think there was a shortcut here. This might be a better way. But I could be wrong. Uh, yes, indeed, baby. Love to see it. Amazing. No. Everything's okay. Give me that item now, baby. Large tide and I shod. Bah. Okay. What's over here to the left? To the lefty left. Oh. Oh, this is uh, P. Sully's room. Okay. Oh, is this a shortcut? Ah, look at that. Amazing. This would have been really nice if we didn't get invaded. Let's check out up here. Maybe there's something cooler on the other side. Oh, look at this balcony. Incredible. Oh, that's a mimic, isn't it? That is a goddamn mimic. All right, it is time to finally test out, hopefully, the right charm. <laughs> I really messed it up last time, but I believe we just used the wrong one. I believe it's this one that we got to use, so. <gasps> oh, my God. <laughs> Oh my god, the legs all sitting there. I mean, obviously, but that's so interesting. This buddy's got his legs and tongue just all packed up in there. That is horrifying. All right. Oh, shit. Did he just stretch? 
That's so cute. Yes, sir. Wow, that was actually... That kind of humanized these things a little bit, and I don't like it. These are like my worst enemy. Hey, 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 hey. No kicking around these parts. Bam. Okay, guys, I think I'm a bit of a natural with the sword. No! Bro, I swear to God I dodged that. Oh my God, this is a strong one. You're still going. Well, we need to read up on this uh, weapon that we got, first and foremost. The Golden Ritual Spear, a ritual spear presented to Dark Moon Knights before Sullivan claimed the title of Pontiff. Can also be used as a staff. Uh, sorcerers cast using this weapon channel the wielder's faith. Skill, steady chant, boost the strength of sorceries for a very short period. Cool. Could have read that uh, while going up on the elevator, you know? Pick me up, baby. I really, really like this outfit uh, with the sword as well. Let me know if there's anything else we could rock uh, to look a little bit closer to guts. I think this is uh, pretty sick, man. All right. Is this even worth doing? What if I put it to sleep and then schmack rue it? Oh, that was not the right one. You absolute idiot. All right. I'm going to kill it while it's sleeping. Oh, it gets up. Oh, no, it's still still sleeping. Yes. Oh, you love that. I love to see you love to see it. It's kind of fucked up. But I don't give a damn. I don't give a damn. God. Okay, you know what? I'm going to ah! I'm going to pop one of these. That's why we died in the last one. Yeah. Okay, don't get grabbed. Oh, fuck, now we're, now we're probably gonna get invaded again. <laughs> Not. I'm gonna go sit back down after this. Uh, God damn. I know you guys keep telling me that I can just hold down on the D-pad to get to the flask faster. It's like the same in every game. Except for DS2. We actually never got it to work in DS2. But... Okay, it works on DS3. Love it. I think that's why I haven't really been doing it, because in DS2, bro, I swear to God, I don't know if it was my controller or something. Never worked. But, uh, DS1 is definitely something that we use a lot. Alright, let's re-up some health and some flasks, and uh, keep on pushing forward. Alright, now we just need to get across, past these stupid-ass wizards, and then we'll be just fine. Just handy-dandy fine. Thanks. Relax, big boy. Nice. <laughs> it's funny how they fall. Nice. Kinda 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 fucked up on my part, you know. I always feel fucked up when I'm just, you know, walking to an area, three homies just, you know, spending some time together. Beat them to a pulp. It's just it is what it is, I guess. It's not open from the side. Of course it doesn't. Can we... critical? <laughs> Sometimes it doesn't work the way you want it to work. And that's just life, baby. Forgot there was a guy there. It is so satisfying to hit people with this sword, guys. I gotta say, this is phenomenal. <laughs> oh, fantastic. Oh, you're the big baddie around here, huh? Nat? Yeah, you can say all the demonic shit you want, bitch. I am not scared of you. Uh, did we get the one that was here? He's hiding in the bushes. No. Hello there. Taking a little piss, I see. Bye-bye. Cool. Now, there was those two soldiers down there that looked superhuman. I don't think those two are coming back, so maybe we'll go take care of one of the giants. There is a goddamn archer up there, the one that killed me. Oh my god, could it be the... Wait, hold up. Hold up, where the fuck are we? Okay, I don't think we're, like, in the Anorlando area just yet. Like, the Anorlando area. Oh, don't stand here! Oh, <laughs> that could have been bad. That could have been really bad. Because I was going to say, if there was, like, that ramp up, then those... Th this archer could have been the archer that we, uh struggled so much to get past in DS1. Uh, but I don't know yet. 
Uh, oh, I missed an item down there. Give us a second. Give us a second. No need to get up, guys. We're just... Just a guy. I, I kind of want to try fighting these. Let's see how tough it is. Oh my god. Okay, never mind. We are strong. Yeah. What's up? Mm, right for the kneecaps. Oh. Okay, of course they are strong. <laughs> Please get away. Oh my god, is it not getting up? Oh shit, there's two. <laughs> Classic. There's always two giants. Oh, what are you doing, pal? Are you gonna roll? What the fuck? Are you alright, pal? What the fuck? Whoa. Yo. This is a mean, mean scale. There we go. That's one in the bag. Alright. <laughs> the bigger they are, the harder they fall. Okay. Okay. Not. <laughs> Alright, I'm glad we're doing this. Look at the moon behind, dude. It's fucking beautiful. Alright, 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 alright! Fuck, we were in the safe zone. Perfect. Now he's tired. Unfortunate. Very unfortunate. Oh, fuck. Let's go. Let's go. What the hell is that place? Are we gonna get to go up there? Probably. If they're showing it to us. Ah, oh, so beautiful. I'm gonna miss this area, man. The Onion Man was talking about some dungeons, and I have a feeling that's where we're gonna be heading to uh, next after this, and uh, it's gonna be sad, man. But hey, dungeons are, are pretty cool. They can be pretty cool, so we'll see what it has to offer probably in the next episode, depending how long, uh, how much time we spend here. Secret wall. Oh, beauty. Shout out messages. Long drop. Wow. Is that water? Oh, fuck. Okay. All right. We got one of the, <laughs> the Bloodborne beasts <laughs> from the entrance. Oh, shit. These are really cool. Big ass statues, man. Ugh. Okay. This has got to be worth it. Oh, shit. Okay, there's two. <laughs> there's two, guys. Alright, you know what? Maybe we can just grab these uh, these items and get out. What the f*** is that in the corner? Okay, he's pissed. Yeah, he's pissed. Duh. Body! Can I heal? Okay. Okay. He's got that gaping dragon stomach. Disgusting. Doggo? Okay, those have to be really good items. Maybe we can run in, grab them, and run the fuck back. Hey. No need for that, guys. No, no, no. We're all homies here. Yes. Alright. These guys are useless, I gotta say. Okay. It's always when I shit talk. <laughs> Alright, we made it. Safe and sound. Safe and sound. Let's try this again. I think I also had like 16,000 souls, so it wouldn't be so bad to get those back. I'm gonna make a run for it, guys. Yes, since this is behind a hidden wall, I don't think this is like, you know, if we miss this, we won't be able to like progress or anything. This is clearly optional, but uh, probably means there's some really good shit here. So I'm just gonna, yeah. Quick things, baby, quick things. We got this, we got this. Ah! Okay. Go, 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 go. Deep gem. Okay. Oh, shit. Oh, is there something in the corner there? Okay. Hold up. Don't kill me, doggos. We're all friends here. What's up, big guy? Oh, what is this? Prey. Oh, nice. Now I can't be killed, right? Okay. They can kill me still. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> I really thought we were safe, bro. I really thought we were safe. Oh, disgusting. Well, sh
We got the two items. Killing them probably makes them drop something else too. Um, I want to do that right now. Not really, but... We did just lose 16,000, which is kind of like a level right now. Let's try it one more time. Oh, there was a little balcony here that we missed. Well, you look at this. Happiness ahead. Where? Where is thy happiness? Is there even such a thing? Oh, Crystal Boyo. Nice. Big happy. S secret wall? Nope. Alright. I guess I'm kind of happy after that. Now, are they going to put my souls here or... Hold up. I would just like to maybe get my souls if they're nearby. <laughs> Mm, nope, nope, they're not nearby. Alright, I changed my mind. I'm gonna kill these guys. Yep, it's happening. It's gonna be glorious. Oh my god, my souls are so far. <laughs> There's only one way to do this, man. Come here, you bitch. I did this once, I can do it again. Yep. Fuck me. You are terrifying. No! Ah, oh, stop! What the fuck? <laughs> All right, that's pretty sweet. I can't do this. Not today. Not today. All right, it's time to move on. And yes, I headed the long way. Ah, eh, this is even the long way. Not really. The giants are back. That's fun. Buddy, that is not how you sleep. I fucking hate long range enemies with a passion. They are such cowards. Annoying ass cowards. They don't want to get close. They just shoot from afar. Alrighty. Let's move up in the world here. My god. More beautiful views. You love to see it. I could probably snipe them from here. That would be pretty satisfying, but I'm not a coward. Nice. Oh, nice. Okay, we got Archie boyos. Where are they coming from? Ugh, fantastic. This is going to be another... Oh, <laughs> they're going to do us like this again. <laughs> no way. This is taking me back, man. This is taking me back. I'm going to head this way. Is there anything back here? Oh, yes. We got two options here. This is one of them. Oh, there's already a guy here. Oh, this is such a horrible place to fight! Can't even swing my sword. God, I'm just going in circles. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I should have kicked them. The one time I should have kicked somebody. That would have been the perfect time. Oh, that, was just, that wasn't hard at all, baby. Let's go. We're built different now. Ouch. Okay, I'm so dead. Don't die! Woo! Let's go, baby! Whoa, Jesus! That is very close range, pal. God damn. Alright, one more victim. Not. Nah. I'm gonna try and kick him. Okay. Oh no! Asshole. Let's go. Let's go. Bro, I fucking love this sword. Napped. Alright, that was a close one, guys. Ish. Not really. I am a professional. Is there anything else? Oh, hello there. You're just shooting from this far from the ledges? Interesting. Nat. Ouch. Oh no. God damn, bro. These guys make so much damage. True. Oh, what the fuck? Yo, my R2 did not go off there. That's how it's done. Amazing. Holy shit, these guys give you a lot of souls. Nice. Love to see it. Secret? Nope. 
Okay. I believe there was an item here uh, that we could have dropped into. Probably down this nice stairwell. Aha. Oh, God. Where is he shooting from? Oh, nice. We got, okay, got some ashes. Where the f*** is this guy? Oh, I see him. All right. Got it. Got it, get it, get it. I gotta say, it's really, really nice to be back in an area that we, uh, that we love so much. I bet fans went ape shit when this game came out. Oh, he's way over there. What the fuck? Is this where I'm supposed to go? <laughs> Brother. What are you doing? Oh, okay, through here. Got it. Beautiful level design, as always. Let's get rid of this guy first. Hey, bud. You wanna head over here? No, 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 over here. Damn it, okay, that is not what I wanted, but we can make that work. Nat. <laughs> Hold on. Oh God, stop laughing. Net. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. All right, you piece of garbage. Are you ready to die? Nice. One more time. One more time for the boys. <laughs> oh no! I can probably still get that. That's so unfortunate. <laughs> Uh, uh, that poor item. Oh, there's like a little bridge over there. Hold up a second. What a blast this place is. Except for the wizards. F the wizards. I will never have respect for the wizards. Except for the wizards of Waverly Place. But those are different kinds of wizards. Oh, nice. Look at that. Beautiful shortcut. Amazing. Uh, should I go sit down? Uh, I mean, I feel like we might be close to like the bonfire of... I mean, if there even is a second bonfire to this, we've kind of progressed a lot. I don't want to have to kill all these archers again. Oh, there's an item down there. Yeah. That's got to be a really good item if they're, like, hiding it like that. All right, we're on to our last... Oh, please don't die. Okay, nice. <laughs> that was literally the amount that I... Oh, sick! Dragon Slayer Great Bow and Dragon Slayer Great Arrows. We should use these against the f***ing wizards. <laughs> Greybow used by the dragon slayers during the Age of Gods. Far greater in size than any normal bow. And far more devastating. The bow must be anchored to the ground when fired. A time-consuming operation that leaves the user vulnerable. Only specialized great arrows can be fired from the bow. Skilled puncturing arrow. Masterfully fires off a great arrow that pierces through all enemies in his path. Inflicting damage. That's pretty sick, man. Only thing is that we got to place it in the ground, so that does leave us quite a vulnerable. Now that we have the shortcut, you know, we might as well go sit back down because we're only at like, well, we're, we're at zero flasks, so. Uh, I can do this, I can do this, I can do this, I can do this. Go, 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 go. Probably going to go back to Firelink Shrine, level up, and then we'll continue through the through the rooftops. Which is actually a lot of fun. Oh my god, will I make it? Yes, indeed. Let's see if we can actually level up this uh, great sword here. Even though we're already doing pretty great damage, I wouldn't mind some more, baby. Yes. Oh, yes. Okay, plus seven. <laughs> but they be careful. It's gonna be a good time. Let's give Grandma here the oh. ashes. Give Umbral Ash. Gracious. Passing fine ash thou hast given. Always. Alright, what do we got here? Uh, uh any new gear, perhaps? I would love me Oh yes! The Eastern Helm! Oh my god! Is that sirloins? No way. No. Distinctive helm made in the Eastern land. The ex the exquisite craftsmanship and artistic design made these price pieces in the collection of any noble men. Offers excellent damage absorption, particularly from slashing attacks from katanas, which are commonly encountered threats in battles fought in the east. Okay, well, I was not far off. Oh. Distinctive armor made in an eastern land. Artistic design collection. Offers excellent damage absorption, 
Bro, this is so beautiful. Why is this an Anorondo? Wood grain ring. This special ring crafted in an eastern land is made of metal, but with a wood grain crest of it on its surface. So is equipment degradation. Wielders of swords originating in the same region follow a practice of inscribing special words on the blades of their swords and are naturally drawn to the string. Ani Slayer Great Arrow. Large arrows used to destroy giant horn Ani in an eastern land. Ani? Why does that sound familiar? It can only be used with great bows. Made from the feathers of an aged crow, it is said that these arrows fly as straight as their master. Ani. It was, wait, was Ani the name of the giant that was in Orlando in DS1? Or am I completely... No, I, th I don't think it was. Bro, this is so beautiful. It doesn't really... Ugh, it doesn't have a cape, though. <laughs> I love me some capes, man. Alright, maybe I'll get this in the next episode, but I really like the outfit that we're rocking today, so... I'm gonna I'm wait up on that, but hold up, Grandma. I need... I need money. I need some allowance. Thank you kindly. Oh, that's not enough to level up. Damn it! I shouldn't have done that. Might as well level up a weapon, then. You know what? Let's put it in the Astora Greatsword, which I did want to try out at some point. This is like, no, it does not cost me any money to do that. Put in the Black Knight Sword, too. We'll, we'll, we'll test that bad boy out, too. Execution Grace, sure thing, man. Sure thing. We're going for all the heavies here. Dark Sword, sure thing. Why not? I'm using all the time my charts. <laughs> Cell Sword Twin Blade, sure. Ring it up. Let's go. Okay. How much money do we got hey, left? 2,300. Okay. I'm, I'm comfortable with going on to the world with that. Solid baby. All right. Let's go use that shortcut that we just unlocked. Hopefully we get a second bonfire soon. This might be one of those areas where it's just shortcuts. Channel mind. Erythol of the Boreal Valley. Sick name. Alrighty, wizard boyos. We meet again. Those should be purple, man. Come on. Get with the get with the aesthetic, guys. Missed opportunity. Actually, maybe they are purple, since I am colorblind in the end. I don't even know what's real and what's not. Pretty be careful. Uh, we haven't really gone this way. Oh, there's just the one guy there, and then yeah, and then the other boyo. All right, this thing is at a level plus six, so should be doing some decent damage. Okay. All right. That's why we got rid of 16,000 souls. <laughs> oh, shit, dude. He's good at his job, I gotta say. That man deserves a raise. Are these doors gonna open one day? I mean, they totally seem like they would. No happiness ahead. There's one there and one there, so. Could be something cool later. We Seems like the wizards are no longer the problem. It's the arch boyos. Archboyos hermanos. Skedaddle, bitches. Thank you very much. Safe and sound, baby. Okay, so strategy here. Don't let the guy shoot us. Yes. Or hit us. We must be untouchable. Untouch me. What? Bam! Bam! Beautiful. That's how it's done, baby. Give me that shit. Give me that shit. Yeah, that's right. Yep. Goodbye. That's how it's done. Something dude. Not. Kick you. He smack very hard. Very, very hard. And I'm going to send him flying. Bye bye. Okay, didn't work. So much tight tonight, man. So much tight tonight. All right, what's this? Oh my god. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. We've made it. We've made it, dude. <laughs> this is the room. This is the room to uh, to Gwendolyn. Holy shit. Okay, we are actually officially in Anorlando now. Oh, snap. Wait. Is Joel back? Or, or Joel? What's going on, man? Welcome. Oh, definitely not Joel. Ah, gracious lord. Your spouse awaits you. You are very near. Please, 
take the sword of avowal. May you be the truest lord of Londor yet. What the fuck? <laughs> well, guys, Sir Jedediah III is getting married today. Let's go. I should dress up and I should also read what this sword has to say. I don't know why they're giving me a sword, but is this how they used to do it back then? Back then. <laughs> Like, this shit is real. What the hell is this thing? Why can't I find this sword? Is it not under swords? Is this like an item? Right of wedlock gives birth to a true hollow lord. Ceremonial sword of Londor cannot be equipped as a weapon. It is said that a right of wedlock will pres pres presage a true hollow lord. Your spouse's name is Henri, who patiently awaits a rightful lord deep within the mausoleum, baby. Let's freshen up a bit. Put on some armor, you know, look a little, look a little decent here. There we go. This could be a wedding outfit. My queen, it is I, Sir Jedediah, come to marry you or put you in wedlock or whatever. No fucking way. Wait a second. That was, uh, that belonged to the, uh, the firekeeper in Enerlando. Armor of a knight once known as the Dark Moon. It is said that this brass armor hides something hideous within. Something about its silhouette suggests femininity. Yes, it does. I forget her name, but I just remember we had the killer, which is kind of sad. Armor of a knight once known as the Dark Moon. Something. Wow. All right. It's a nice touch. Right, so this was the hallway that just, like, kept extending, right? When we fought, uh, Gwendolyn. And then this was the grave of, uh, of Gwyn, I think. Why is she laying down like that? Do I gotta, like... What?! Why is her face covered? <laughs> no! No, no, this cannot be. She's dead, bro. Why did I think that I was actually gonna have a happy ending in this? And not that kind of happy ending. I just meant like, you know, a nice wedding. Fucking Patches could have been sitting in the back like, yeah. Oh, wow. Oh. Wow, that's a great shot right there. What the f***, bro? Andre was like the sweetest soul on the planet. Uh, what the f***? He put it through the head? Brother! <laughs> I thought he put it on her chest. <laughs> Did you really have to put it on her face? Damn! Oh, these are some flowers up there. As I'm stepping on her. Well, my lady. God damn it. This is so classic, man. You go through like an entire quest line, you know, the highs and lows, thinking that you ruined it, thinking that she's gonna die, just for her to either way die at the end. It's quite frustrating, man. I even fucking changed for the shit. Everybody put RIP in the comments for, for Henri. Oh, and you're dead too? The fuck is happening? Chameleon. Transform into something in inconspicuous. All right, this is the shit that turns you into whatever item is around. Lost sorcery from Ulusil. Land of ancient golden sorceries uh, transforms into something in inconspicuous. Far from formally developed, this magic was instead born from the mischief of a young girl who sought relief from the solitude of the woods at dusk. Well, I am ruined, guys, as usual. But uh, I believe that this is going to tie into, you know, the main area. The area that we're so familiar with. I think. Yep. I th Wait, what? Oh, we're facing. Oh, got it, got it, got it, got it. I think I know what's happening. Is there something here? Nope. Oh my god, it's so beautiful. <laughs> I'm gonna miss this place so much. Okay, now that I'm thinking about it, I don't think that was the uh, room to Gwendolyn. Oh, no, it, to no, it totally was. I'm sure we'll figure it out. I just got to get to the top. Let's crank the bad boy. Fuck, I think I do I'm doing it the wrong way. Nope. We're good, baby. Am I going to face the wrong way? Classic. <laughs> 
Oh shit, guys. This looks familiar to me, man. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Oh, that was so great just seeing the name on the screen, man. But where is the bridge? There was more. There was more to this bridge. Let's see. Okay, so this is in Orlando, but obviously in like a different dimension or something. Because <laughs> there was a whole bridge, unless it was. I don't know, dude. I can't wait for Vodivita to explain all this shit to me, man. <laughs> I mean, it said Anolando on screen, so... Who the fuck knows? Wait, so is this uh, Devour person gonna be, like, in the same room where we fought, uh... Schmoke? That would be pretty cool. Come on now. Come on now. Yes, sir. At least they don't have those uh, annoying-ass naked bats. That's a plus. I mean, so far they don't. They could appear. Ouch. I don't mind these guys. Ow. Oh my god, this is the exact same layout, dude. I love it. I'm guessing this is not gonna open. Locked by some contra contraption. Classic. Yeah, no, they got rid of the bat, the the bat boyos, the naked bat boyos. Oh, but he's got red eyes. Oh, he's a dangerous one, very dangerous. Mhm. Mm nice. Yeah. Fucking love this sword, man. Solo Chris. Wow. Oh, this is so cool, dude. So fucking cool. Let's see if this door opens up. Nope. Alright. Only one way. The way where uh, the old, uh, our old giant friend used to live. I miss that guy. He always had the funniest comments. I meant a few words, but... His words, man. They were powerful. Yes. Okay. Chuck. Oh, he's literally right there. Dead, of course. <laughs> hey, buddy. Oh, it's great to see you. Oh, Andre's gonna have something to say about that one. Coal used for weapon infusion. It is said that the giant blacksmith of Enerlando was once the blacksmith of the gods. Gift of the blacksmith in the shrine to allow the use of gems for lighting, lightning, simple, and chaos infusion. You don't deserve this. You really don't. You really don't. Oh my god, what happened to the stairs? Bruh, they gotta clean this shit. This is the same stairwell. <laughs> oh shit, dude. I can't wait to see the main room. It's dark as shit in here. What the fuck? Okay, we got more wizard boyos. Yo, this place looks like shit, man. Probably because- Oh, there was a secret path here. Probably not in this one, though. Uh, it's all coming to me. Bro, this place looks- Oh, man, this does not look like it used to. It looks real bad. Oh, is that a fog gate? <gasps> oh my god, guys. Next boss. Next boss, baby. That is so exciting. Ouch. Moonlight arrow. Should we just go for the boss? What else is there to what else is there to do in this room? Oh, we should probably open this up. Yes. Yes. Alohamora. Let's go. Oh, what the fuck? Okay, doesn't open. What? <laughs> Why are those back? Why are they back? Oh shit, is this an elevator? Oh no, that's for the door. Dumbass. Alright, I'm happy with that. Are you guys fighting the thing? Bro, honestly, this thing is not even that bad. Like, in terms of, like, looking like... Yeah, that one, that one, that one was bad the first time we encountered it. Um... Nowhere near as bad as the, um, the centipede spiders. That thing's gotta be some of the worst shit I've ever seen in my entire life. Well, guys, might as well check out this devourer guy. Why the hell not? Why not, right? 
<laughs> oh, that's right. You were the slime dude from the cutscene. <laughs> oh shit. It's wearing uh it's wearing Gwendolyn's like sun hat or whatever. Okay. Bro, this thing is disgusting. Am I not making any damage? Oh, here we go. <laughs> oh, it's gone. Great. <laughs> it's terrifying. I'm going off the water. Wow, dude, it's so cool to be back in this room. Jesus. It definitely looks smaller. Uh, probably because there's only one boss this time. <laughs> oh, this music sounds so familiar. Alright, you're gone again? Oh, this is so epic. Should I be out of the water? No, we're okay. <laughs> Whoa! This is like a way cooler Crystal Sage. I like it. I like it a lot. I'm gonna die here. <laughs> Saved by the pillar. Alright, Aldrich. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> That's so cool! Damn! Oh, I think Aldrich might be a lady friend. I think Aldrich is a lady friend. It's pretty sweet. Okay, music, top tier. Boss room, goaded. Attacks, sick as shit. Lore, no idea. Probably pretty decent. Wait, is Aldrich wearing Gwendolyn's thing because P. Sully gave Gwendolyn to the Devourer? Was Gwendolyn the god of war? Huh. Huh, huh, huh. Oh, there's a chest. Okay, nice. Not a mimic. Oh, sweet! What the fuck? <laughs> Fantastic. Alrighty, guys. Round two of, uh... Aldrich. Mrs. Aldrich. Or Mr. Aldrich. I think it's Mrs. Aha. Let's do this shit. No mercy. No mercy whatsoever. Ah. <laughs> uh, please don't eat me. Thank you. Why are you so far, my lady? Come on now. It's like a caterpillar plus fish plus Gwendolyn. Oh my God! Strong. Very strong. I might. I might amber up. Okay. You know what? I'm gonna amber up right now. I'm confident. I have to check that I was recording. <laughs> and it totally threw me off. Now I'm gonna die. Not. Yeah, this is the music of, um... Fuck, is it Gwendolyn? Oh, no! <laughs> okay, go to the side when she does that. That's crazy. Oh, good attacks. Good attacks. Let's go. Let's go. Uh, welcome back. <laughs> oh, this is a beautiful boss, man. No. We're okay. We're okay. We're okay. We're okay. Chill. Oh my god, they're still going. Big one. Big hits. God damn, bro, this shit is cool. Oh, fuck. Okay. She's going for round two there. Aldridge. Aldridge. Oh! I'm so dead. No, I'm not. Oh, those are still going. Oh, God! Oh! 
Should I be on this fire? Probably not. Ah. Nice. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Come on. Come on, man. Come on. <laughs> this is fucking epic, guys. This is fucking epic. I know we're about to kill her. I don't want to jinx myself, but... Oh, God. Oh, God. I'm not good at this. Ugh. Okay, 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 okay. We're okay, we're okay, we're okay, we're okay. Where are you at? Where are you at? Let's go, baby! Let's go. Let's go. Let's go, man. Cinders of a Lord. Soul of Aldrich. Damn, what a difference from uh, from the last boss. Holy shit. All right, let's read up, guys, as always. That boss was uh, so f cool. Is that an NPC or an enemy? Okay, that's an enemy. So f cool, man. And if they got Gwendolyn upstairs, I'm going to lose my shit. That music was so good, bro. I'm definitely adding that to the playlist. The design was incredible. You know, I think the Greatsword definitely helped us out a bit, even though, I mean, 254 physical compared to the Zyhander, 217. That's, that is a good difference. Her move were nothing compared to Peace Ali, man. Peace Ali still stands as uh, definitely the toughest boss we've encountered in the entire game. We got ourselves a really cool one that matches the, the blue of the Deacons of the Deep or purple. I don't know. I'm colorblind. Soul of Aldrich. When Aldrich ruminated on the fading of the fire, it inspired visions of a coming age of the deep sea. He, it's a he, he knew the path would be ard, 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 arduous. Arduous? Hard would be challenging. But he had no fear. He would devour the gods himself. Absolute badass. Uh, cinders of a lord left by Aldrich, the devourer of gods. Aldrich became a lord by devouring men, but was disillusioned with his throne, and so took to devouring gods instead. So cool, man. And uh, I have not... Praise a gorgeous view. I need that statue, bro. I need that statue. Let's see if we can ride these up and then uh, we'll go read up on some boss weapons and then wrap it up, man. I think this might be a shorter episode, but you know, next episode, Monday, we're going to be diving into the dungeons, which uh, are usually pretty massive in these games. So, <gasps> oh, she's not there. Oh my God, it's bringing me back. Sun Princess Ring, dude. This was honestly, like, I think the highlight of DS1. Entering Enerlando, defeating the two boyos, and then finishing it off with Guinevere. Highlight of the game, man. Here we go, guys. The Sun Princess Ring. Ring associated with Guinevere, princess of sunlight and eldest daughter of Gwen, the First Lord. The ring is vaguely warm, like a beam of sunlight, and gradually restores HP. Guinevere left her home with a great many other deities and became a wife and mother, raising several heavenly children. No chest. <laughs> uh, could this be a princess? But ha, huh, it's an illusion. Lonely. Yep, very lonely. Uh, what a fucking journey these games have been, man. I'm gonna miss the shit out of this franchise. God damn. The closer we get to the end, bro, the... I don't know, man. It's very bittersweet. I'll tell you that. And I'm sure you guys felt the same way. But it won't be the end. It'll be the start of something new. <laughs> Shut up. Well, guys, on that note, let's head over to Firelink Shrine, read up on the boss weapon, and uh, call it a day, man. Call it a freaking day. All right, so we got uh, Life Hunt Scythe. Miracle of Aldrich, Devourer of God, steals HP of foes using an illusory uh, scythe. Aldrich dreamt as he slowly devoured the god of the dark moon. Okay, so it was Gwendolyn. In this dream, he perceived the form of a young, pale girl in hiding. So yeah, the god of the dark moon was Gwendolyn. Aldrich ate him. Uh, and that's why he was wearing his sun headpiece. And we also got the Dark Moon Longbow. Longbow of Dark Moon Gwendolyn, who was gradually devoured by Aldrich. I just had to fucking read this one after. <laughs> this golden bow is imbued with powerful magic and it's most impressive with moonlight arrows. Skill, Dark Moon Arrow. Infuse a redyed arrow with the Dark Moon Essence, granting it magic, damage, and the ability to pierce shields. Sorry if this video is a little bit shorter. I got somewhere I need to go now. But we are going to be doing the dungeons in the next episode Monday. That'll probably be a long one. We'll get through most of it. Um, I need to progress uh, the quest lines of the Onion Man. Oh, what the f***? What am I saying? I need to talk to this lady. <laughs> I was about to close the video. Ah, our Lord and Yes. 
I presume my holy vows are sworn. If you can call it that, yes. Wonderful. <laughs> now thou art the true and deserving Lord of Hollows. Aye. With the spouse, the strength to claim the fire is thine. Okay. Thy lordship, I prithee wrest the fire from its mantle. I, Uria, and all Londor embrace thy impending lordship. Aye, right, I can get behind that, sure. Oh lord and liege, I prithee, play the usurper. Sure. When the moment cometh to link the fire, rest it from its mantle. Rest it from the its age mantle. The fire was founded by the old gods, sustained by the linking of the fire. But the gods are no more, and the all-powerful fire deserveth a new heir. Our Lord of Hollows, it shall be who weareth the true face of mankind let's fucking go well guys we are officially the lord of hollows and um honestly i think i've done the work can't think of a better man for the job so <laughs> what a ride honestly being back at enerlando seeing the connections back to ds1 the views from the balconies the boss the music it was fantastic it was a nice trip down memory lane it was different but it was still so reminiscing of the original and Orlando, which was my favorite area in Dark Souls 1. If you haven't seen that episode, let me direct you so you can go see that. On that note, guys, thank you so much for being here. Have a great weekend. And as always, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.